Good morning, Quadcopter101. What I got for you today is a review of the TechBoy TB820. Also, it's labeled as uh, Quadcopter TR055 also. <laughs> but this one says TechBoy TB820. Now, what is special about the TechBoy TB820? Well, for one thing, it's a build-your-own quadcopter. It comes in pieces, it's foam board pieces that you got to actually tape together to, to build it. Um, it's kind of actually, was kind of fun to put together step by step and I'll include the steps in this video at the end of this video showing how this was assembled uh, from the, the fiber or from the foam board but uh, all in all it's got a little um, how big is that 180 milliamp per hour battery in here that slides in this battery bay that you got to build yourself uh, little motors very lightweight because of the foam board I think that's the idea but I'm not sure how well this is going to fly out here in the outdoors I got a little two to three mile per hour wind steady breeze from my back here we'll see how that well it performs but one other thing about it notice this controller this little ring controller this thing is entirely entirely controlled via moving your hands um, this flies in um, headless mode at all times and so you know it doesn't matter which way the quadcopter is pointed you know uh, you're good it's going to remember its takeoff direction it was pointed and Moving forward is always going to be the takeoff direction. Say I have it pointed in that direction when we take off. Uh, tilting forward will make the quadcopter fly forward. Tilting back with this controller will make it fly back. Tilting right will make it fly right. And tilting left will make it fly left. Again, it'll be uh, after it gets in the air, it doesn't matter which way the quadcopter is pointed. It's always going to go in those directions. Um, you do have a control button on the left here. And this is your on-off switch right under here. You got to push down to turn off, turn on the quadcopter, and hold it down for about three seconds to turn it on. But these buttons, this button here, depending on what you do with it, <laughs> this quadcopter will do certain things. If you press it quickly, it will take off, and you press it again once it's in the air, it will land. Um, you can change the rates of the quadcopter by clicking it forward so to go to beginner, intermediate, and expert. And because of the wind, I'm probably going to go right to expert at takeoff. Um, you can do flips by pressing up on the button and telling it which direction to flip. And you can change its altitude by pressing down on the button. And to go down, you go like this. And to go up, you go like that. And it will make the quadcopter go down and up. And again, I got a, quite of a bit of a breeze in my back here, so we're going to see how well this will work. Oh, one other thing, you can make it yaw, but yaw really has no effect on this since this flies entirely in headless mode. But if you want to turn it, just for the heck of it, you push toward yourself on that button and then tilt right and left and it will tilt, it will yaw in that direction. But again, yaw will, has no effect on the control of the quadcopter. So let's go into a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Let's first plug it in, as so. Get power on the quadcopter and we'll set the headless mode direction the direction opposite the battery connector is the front of the quadcopter so we'll, we'll set it off in that direction there and turn on the transmitter and we should be bound and again I'm going to go to high rate and I'm going to press take off Okay, I am at high rate right now, so see how it works. Left, right, back, right, left. And again, it's fighting that wind there. So interesting. Let's try a flip. Oops. <laughs> it didn't like that flipping. What happened there? Probably a piece of my tape got in the way of one of the... Oh. The antenna got in the way of a prop, so let's stop that. I don't know why the antenna came up in the way of the prop, but let's try that again. And again, pointing off in that direction there for takeoff. The antenna got up inside the prop. Okay, take off again. Okay, we're still good. Let's try that height change. Pushing down, going up, coming down. I'm pushing down on the button while doing this. Yeah, it works. <laughs> so, again, this would be great for kids. Kids would love this. Actually, adults like this. I'm kind of have kind of fun with this. Now let's try that yaw. Again, see, I just turned to the left there, but the yaw has no effect on the direction this quadcopter flies, as it it's always flying in headless mode. This is always back. This is always forward. It remembers again the direction it was pointed when it took off. So neat little quadcopter. 
Actually, this is cool. <laughs> this works so much better than others <laughs> that fly like with a, a phone. Notice the wobbles. My hand's not wobbling that bad today, folks. I did have a lot of coffee, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Let's go up a bit higher. <laughs> and lower. Come down. Come back. Come back to me. Again, this is an enjoyable little quadcopter. Up. Down. I'm pushing down in the button, remember? Up. Go up. Wonderful little quadcopter. Now, it doesn't matter if you... Well, maybe it does. I don't know. Let's see. If I tilt in this way... No. <laughs> it remembers that that's forward. So <laughs> back and forward. Back. And I'm, my arm's getting tired holding it up. I'm going to have to use my other arm to help it. Let's come down a little lower and bring it in close again. Tech Boy 820. Tech Boy's got a few of these. They're all the same design. Um, I got another one coming that I'm going to be reviewing here in the near future. Uh, it's a butterfly shaped one. <laughs> that should be pretty cool too. But I enjoy flying it. It's pretty neat. And I know kids would love this. Look how stable that thing is. You control it strictly by your hand and you, it soon, you soon learn the instinctively how to maintain it. The winds pick it up. It's fighting it. It's trying to fight it. It's trying. <laughs> neat, neat, neat little quad cutter. What was the other one I reviewed? Like this Tech Boy 802. That was also a neat little quad cutter. But again, you got to build this thing. It took me about an hour to put it together. <laughs> There's so many pieces. But again, I'll include them all. I'm going down here with it. The wind's picking up and starting to blow it a bit. I'm just curious how long it's going to fly in that tiny little battery. See the, the trees blowing <laughs> up there. <laughs> the wind's hitting those trees. Let's see if I can block the wind. Yeah. <laughs> if I get in front of it. I'm blocking the wind so it flies toward me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come down now. Let's do an auto land. Pressing the button for auto land. We're gonna call it quits there, folks. Because the wind's picking up. But, oh no. Neat little quad cops there, uh, mainly intended for indoor flying. This would be a joy for kids indoors on a rainy day. Having <laughs> a blast with this little thing. It flies pretty long too. It's, it's still got battery power on it. I don't see any blinking lights yet. Its lights are still solid, so I guess it could go for another few minutes or another couple minutes or so. But all in all, I gotta stop now because the wind's picking up. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is the Tech Boy TBA20 Quadcopter 101. Let me show it. Quadcopter 101. There we go. Signing out.